this is a continuation of my piece by piece series. I got a few different works I'm going to try to make videos on today. Um, the first is a piece from my Sands of Time collection I did as my senior seminar work. This one is titled Future Frontiers. This work is um, electroformed copper over fluorite for the landscape, um, bronze lost wax casting for the tower, silver lost wax casting for this figure, and there's also a figure inside the tower. Um, for my Future Frontiers piece, I was focusing on something that would stay the same um, in humanity as we took on space travel and just way into the distant future, like a thousand years from now. And I was thinking about what could possibly be, maybe not completely the same, but would be retained. And I thought one of the things that would be retained was the, um, the need for human connection. Um, across space and I tried to think of one of the oldest things that was still used and that could be used in the future and the thing that occurred to me was the simple gesture of acknowledgement across the distance by the hand wave and um, it seems really consistent that if you're across a field or a space and you raise your hand it means I see you and if you return it it means I see you and um, it occurred to me that's going to be very relevant in space. And um, that's why I did that with my little figures. And then um, this tower is based off of a tower that I saw um, built in Dubai that sways in the wind. Um, and it has a counterbalance inside. And I was thinking about that. And then I was thinking about nanotechnology and structures and I've thought a lot about uh, trees and how trees technically move water and air inside them like that's how they're set up and if we could use nanotechnology to grow metal buildings that had the inner infrastructure of trees to transport water and air not naturally, obviously, because it would be bioengineering, it would be an engineering feat, but in a more organic way, it would be very functional. And so when I think about futuristic buildings, I often think about how much more like nature they could potentially be. So that's what I based this tower off of. And then it also was just an expression of all of the skills I'd learned in my metalsmithing class. Um, there's a fluorite stone incorporated into the space. I hope you can see that purple there. And one of the only ways to fuse stone um, to metal like this is through the electroforming process, which I really enjoy. Um, I describe it as painting with magnets through acid. Um, of course, that's not quite accurate, but uh, anyway, I'll probably go into that in more detail in processes if I get it set up again. Um, I hope you enjoy this piece. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites. I will get another one set up. 